Hello everybody, my name is Kate Oxman. I'm a Sidwell class alum from the class of 2005. I'm a wildlife photographer, conservationist, and safari guide. And I'm just keeping an eye out because right now I'm in the famous Lamar Valley in Yellowstone National Park, the first national park in the entire world. And I'm just really grateful that the Sidwell alumni group asked me if I would share some of my work and my passion for wildlife as a featured artist for this um, event that they're doing. I'm so, so grateful and I'm very excited. Um, and instead of just like taking you on a tour of my apartment and showing you like a few photos, I thought I was a fun idea would be to like bring you out in the field with me and show you how I go about and shoot wildlife photography. So as you can see, we're here in Yellowstone and it is in August. And so in terms of like understanding wildlife and wildlife behavior, which is the basis for wildlife photography, because you got to know what the animals are going to do. And here in Yellowstone, because the weather is so dramatic and so harsh, Summer is so hot, winter is so cold, that the animals all really have a specific yearly cycle. So right now, the most exciting thing we're getting to watch is the bison rut. So this is when the males fight each other and compete for breeding rights with females. So what I hope to get today, ph ph photography-wise, is some really great relationship shots between some of the males and their females that they've now Put, that they're protecting and guarding and that they've chosen because normally throughout the year the males are never with the females the guys just kind of piss off and they do their own thing the guys hang out in these bachelor groups with their buddies and the females with all the babies and younger ones and all the females hang out together in these breeding herds so i want to get some of those um relationship shots and then also i want to feature um the males because right now their testosterone is just roaring and they're looking good their hair is big they're rolling in the dust they've got urine all over themselves which you won't be able to unfortunately see or smell through a photo, but you can just feel their energy and this tension. So I really wanna get some like great aggressive male profile shots and portraits and um, some relationship shots. So that's my goal today. And we're here, sunset is gonna happen in a couple of hours. So we're gonna sit out for the light and try to get these shots. Okay, good, yay. <laughs> Right here we've got a bull and a cow bison. And what's really cool about them right now is A, he's agitated, but also they're up on a hill. So anytime that I can photograph an animal looking up and make them look bigger and more dignified versus looking down on it and making it look teeny, like it's easy to make an elephant look small if you're looking down on it. And that's not what you want. You want to show the grandeur and the intensity of the animals. So here's that couple from before that was up on the hill. And he keeps corralling her. Let's see what they're gonna do. <laughs> we're, not, we're not gonna steal this woman, but we're gonna photograph it. Okay, bye bye. So, if this works, it's gonna be beautiful. It's bison silhouetted by the sunset. Let's see if we can do this. Sunset. Tons of bison. It's good. The sun is setting and it's getting a little too dark to do some good photography. So we're gonna call it a night and head back. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. So it is the start of our day. We've got the full moon just peeking down behind the mountains back there, which is just so beautiful. And kind of for first light, we're going out so we can do our wildlife photography. Let's go. That was very cool. We just entered Lamar Valley and we heard and saw a lot of bison activity. The sun is about to peak up over the mountains over there and I want basically their steam backlit because that'll just look really epic and cool. Right now the light is kind of flat, it's not that interesting. So once that sun peaks up, it'll be really great photography. We're gonna go try to find some more bison and sit with them and, you know, try to get some good photos. Cool. He's on a mission. Okay, so here we are in the famous Lamar Valley where the wolves were reintroduced into Yellowstone back in 1995. And 
out there, way too far to see, barely visible with these. There are about four black wolves and three grizzly bears all around a carcass together. So yeah, very cool sighting. Photography, not possible, not possible. So we're just gonna keep moving on and try to catch this light for the bison. But still, that's wolves. We introduced Yellowstone wolves, their heritage, and grizzly bears. Glad, glad we got to watch that together. So what I've been doing right now is I've been hanging out with this male and this female, and he keeps making these territorial calls, establishing that she's his, his woman, one of them at least. And I'm just really enjoying getting some like close up shots of his tongue, his eyes, like his energy, because they're so alive right now. So beautiful. I'm gonna show you guys a few photos of just from the back of the camera see some of the shots that we've gotten and we will hopefully edit some of these later. We had some decent shots from the morning. Um, right now the bison are all kind of starting to sit down and chew their cud. And uh, cause it's getting a little bit hotter, it's getting brighter. Um, it's about 9 a.m. right now. And so we got some nice photos this morning, not as much as I wanted of any fighting or in the dust billows that'll come in a couple of weeks. But what I did get was some nice photos of relationship. So between the males and the females. So that's also a nice thing to show. Um, we're gonna start making our way back home and be open to whatever we see. I'm just importing my photos to Lightroom. That's my dog, Abby. <laughs> She's old and sleepy. Okay. And so there you have it, folks. From the concept, to being in the field, to the final product. I've really, really enjoyed getting this opportunity to share my passion of wildlife and of photography with you all, and always art for a cause. For me, that's that's gotta be the bottom message. So if you have any questions about anything, photography, wildlife, please reach out. You can follow me on my different social media platforms and watch more of my, of my adventures, and you can always contact me through any of those as well. So thank you again to Sidball and thank you again to the great outdoors and our wilderness for being so magnificent and being my, my sanctuary. All right, take care everyone. Bye.